Eldis in Concert has been transforming vans into motorhomes for decades. A business success story that's doubled its workforce in recent years. But since September, sales have taken a hit, all over the question of whether these are vans or cars. Well, these may look like van chassis, and indeed they are, but through some mysterious process in the tax regime, the government, once they become motorhomes, classes them as cars, and classes them as big cars, which means they pay as much tax as the most extravagant Rolls-Royce. So while new motorhome owners used to pay £265 in road tax in a vehicle's first year, they now have to pay £2,135, and Eldis has seen an impact. The reality is for the whole industry that our retail sales are down 10% in the five months since the tax uh, went live, um, which is something that's quite hard for any industry to have to deal with. That naturally puts us under pressure. And whilst we um, are not in a position where we have to make dramatic decisions at the moment, if this continues for too much longer, then that, that is something I have to consider. And the government's now coming under pressure to rethink the rise, not least from this area's new Conservative MP. Worried about local jobs, but also questioning the idea's green credentials fearing customers will run older motorhomes longer rather than buying newer, greener models. These motorhomes are not cars, they're not driven like cars and they're basically based on van chassis. So they're not really doing the mileage of cars, they're doing three to six thousand miles a year. They're really important for domestic tourism. So I think it's something that we need to get reversed. So far the government hasn't budged, although in a recent debate in Parliament, a Teesside MP and at that moment Treasury Minister gave some hope of change. The government is seeking to incentivise new motorhome purchasers to make the most rational, low emission choices that they can. But like all taxes, this does remain under review. Any tax changes are considered and announced by the Chancellor as part of the budget process. Since that debate, both Minister and Chancellor have moved on. But the problem remains the same. Eldis says it's simply not possible to produce electrically powered motorhomes. And unless there's a rethink, this County Durham business could go into reverse. Richard Moss, BBC Look North, in concert.